Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode of this Rome campaign. So on our last episode we did took Lepsis and Macromedes and now we're about to destroy, just about destroy the Libyans. Uh, they still have Garama, I believe, but I, I think that's the only place they do have. Um, also in another news, um, the, the Masaisli are coming in so I might be able to snipe them if they are not careful. And that would be quite good, because then I could actually move this 9th Legion towards EOL, which I actually like. So, yeah, plenty of stuff to happen, plenty of stuff to happen. Um, what else, what else? Can I build anything? No, of course, I don't have any money. I could change this general. Let me check one thing. Let me check this general. How good is he? Whoa! Is he actually any good? Minus public order. Uh, public, public order, actually. Culture conversion. Could replace him with... Let me check. This guy. Inspire, zeal, upkeep. Doesn't interest me. Oh, this guy. This guy would be good. Minus 5% tax rate, local province. Ugh. It does have a lot of public order. Although I'm actually not in need of that, so I'm going to wait on that. Nevertheless, household. You're still going to have something. Experience gain rate. That's interesting. But 5%, I don't know if that actually makes the difference. Plus one gravitas per turn. That actually makes difference. So, end turn. Uh, unassigned skilled? Who is it? Oh, it's my general here. My general. Cultural conversion. What can I do? Knight upkeep costs? Yeah. For non mercenary units, of course. There, there should be something for other stuff as well. Uh, could I have logistics, which is kind of nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to have this one. Administration? No. Yeah. That's, that's cool. That's cool. So, end up to turn now. Okay, some more agent actions against us. Evangelion Force Lands, that's this army right there. Population surplus in Italia, construction report, inspired. Uh, more morale or public order? Uh, I'll just send to pool. Hidden agent exposed. Neferic. Neferic. Oh, wow, I really am really good at, uh, at this, at reading this stuff, but it's, this one is really hard. Neferukukek Ashta. Ah, Yeah, that's the deal. <laughs> oh, that's a nice name right there. Imagine if I was named like that. Everyone would be, what? What's the name? How do you spell that? It's like Uivio, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I just gotta, gotta give him the, a bit of a, a trouble here now and then because of the name. Well, he chose it. I could expand, but I'm not sure about it. I might just be able to expand here in Rome and build up something else. Yeah, that's much better. I shouldn't. I should actually build a field of Mars somewhere. Uh, no, that's that's not actually what I need. I need a consecrated ground for a shrine of Ares, I believe, or something like that. Yeah. That's on my building planner, actually. So, protectors of colonies, there you are. Always out of the range. So, let's just move into Keralis. Yeah. That's it. So, he moved out, and the Mesesli are actually coming in again. So, this Legion, the 9th Legion, is gonna stay cool. Stay cool, man. Can I attack these guys? It will be uh, an ambush. So that's good. Yay! Ambushing some generals. Or some uh, elephants, actually. That's that's going to be fought. Yeah, that's going to be fought. Very nice. I don't know if I have any fireballs or such. But certainly it should be fun. Should be fun. Uh, by the way, um, I don't need to protect my other places now. Just because the Libyans have lost mostly their forces, that means that um, 
uh, the the biggest danger actually comes from not the shores as it used to come. So I want my velites to actually hit the elephants as fast as they can. So take away the skirmish mode. My hastati, or actually my triari, are going to attack them. That's the deal. While the principes will... Come on. Principes will attack on this side. Uh, Principes will be on this side as well. Actually, Triari, I know that a trick is to be many ranks deep against uh, war elephants. A study, something like this. That's it. Group up. Group up. Okay. So the first action is actually to send these guys against the the elephants with the flaming ammo. Charge them! Three! Charge them over there! Four! Charge them over there! Five here! Ca cavalry, go! Cavalry, go! Go and go! So the elephants are actually attacking here. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna probably just lose one unit of Velites. But they are actually losing. Oh my god, those Velites! All that you need are Velites, guys. <laughs> he tried moving all of these Carthaginians, but it didn't work. Didn't work. Charge them! I can't actually even see anything. Let's inspire some of these Triari. Are the genie in hoplites? Come on, move over. Charge them. Equities? Oh. Charge them up. Charge them. Who's wavering? Oh, that's just one more elephant. Doesn't matter. I didn't lose anything at all. Ah, barely got that Carthaginian cavalry. So there we go. Continue. Gotta take that Carthaginian cavalry away. This one is gonna pursue. What can I pursue, actually? Nothing, it seems. Is there anything to pursue? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry about that. Carthaginian hoplites. Uh, Libyan javelinmen. That's the deal here. Oh, they're never gonna reach them. So let's just skip and resume. Good. Let's end up the battle. He did survive with one Carthaginian cavalry. But that's mostly because you can't... I can't pause the battle, you know, and issue the orders like he, the AI does. Because it actually does everything at the same time. So, but I was quite happy with, with seeing the, the effect of the Velites on the elephants, actually. That was quite nice. Let's kill all the captives, of course. Now, I know there's some attrition around here, if I'm not careful, to go against or towards Garama. So, I should actually go within the road into Sidamos. That would be best. Because if I go over to this uh, side, uh, that's going to be worse, because I'm, I'll have to trespass, and I don't want to trespass. This way, Lost Legion, let me see, Macomedes. Uh, I can't yet use them like that. I could use this Vile Legion in a forced march. Go into Lepsis, then start moving over here. That's it. Good. Good. Then he can capture Sidamus, and this Lost Legion is going to capture Garama. Yeah. Next turn issues. Let me think. Can I, do I have to deploy this guy? No. Anything going on? This guy is deployed. Yeah, and turn. Oh, I had slums in Machamedes. I didn't ch check that out. Sabotage as well. Some subversions. Increases in rank. Nice. Let's check this. Yeah, dismantle. Oh my god. All the money from this turn is just going to go to repairs. Instructions complete, the village in lapses, that's nice.
So, what did they do? The message they actually moved out of there. I wonder if I can actually reach them. Barely. I can't reach them. But nevertheless, I can move them like this. Yeah, I got a, a little bit of attrition. So over here, then I can attack see the moose. That's that's fine for me. Well, Thaps is gonna need to repair all of that stuff. Carthage, yeah, one turn that didn't go for nothing actually. Uh, the Libyans are never going to reach me, actually. They're never going to be able to attack me. Uh, Machamedes only has three men there. Yeah, going to have to check that out. I'm worried that the Naga Nasamons might take uh, Libya, or might conquer Garama, actually, which would be quite bad for me. So I, I think my Vile Legion will have to take Sidamus, go head up to Garama and go back to Sidamus as fast as it can. Yeah, that's the whole idea there. I get a few upgrades. That's nice. Strength, of course. More wealth and more research. That's nice. Less construction costs, certainly. That's good. I'm earning some money, actually. Let me check my diplomacy. Athens, they're friendly, but they're not as friendly as they should. And I want to see Liguria. They don't like me. They would like me less when I attack them. Sparta, I can't trade because they don't have a sea route. Oh, that's right. That That's one of the things that bugs me out, is that you can't actually change your capital. So Sparta always needs to capture Athens if they are to trade with anyone. They always need to do that, you know, and that's something that's quite, uh, quite strange because usually I never see them attack each other, you know. I usually see uh, Sparta being destroyed by someone else, like Macedon or something. So yeah, kind of bad that it happens like that. Uh, by the way, I'm actually trading with the Nasamones as well. So faction stuff, nothing to too out of the ordinary. Yeah, let's end up our turn. Quite fast this turn. Okay, so some disruption, raids and such, research completed. That was nice. That was nice, actually. Because now I can build the level 3 towns and such. This would be good. This one would be good, actually, just because I would benefit from the costs and such. So, minus 7. Yeah, that's nice. Construction complete, consecrated ground, search, good. So let me check, oh, I can finally build some stuff and develop this. Let me check if I actually need to, oh, I actually need to, that's the idea. Uh, Rome, can you enhance anything? You can. I could have a shrine of Mars, but I don't want that. I want another from Minerva. And to upgrade this temple or this Roman small town. I think I'm going to upgrade this one. Yeah, I need that settlement up and running. Italia. That's the settlement that I need up and running. Let me check how are the Massimones going. Garama is up for the taking, actually. Hmm. And over here, I'm pretty sure that this is well protected now. Yeah, they have everything around there. Plus the garrison, of course. Sidemos, no median noble infantry, some spearmen, archers, tribesmen. Wow. This is gonna be bloody, guys. This is gonna be a bloody battle. But I'm gonna take it nevertheless. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Come on. Probably they will sally out. That's one thing that I'm counting on. Because if they do, it's actually easier for me. So, some noble infantry. I know that everything else dies easily. And he has one cavalry unit. Okay, let's assault it. I don't care. Let's assault it. Are they selling out or defending on the city? They are defending on the city. Ooh. That means a lot of stuff cramped up on a small city. Well, my principals are going to have a field day. I'm going to have to double or triple prong attack these guys especially I'll, I'll be especially aware 
if they have uh, some kind of weakness in the deployment let's start it up maybe all of their missile units are uh, sent in place or something like that so I could go on two s separate places you know I think I prefer because I want to avoid this uh, uh, high ground over here I or even this higher ground over there that can shoot me on this uh, ledge here I want to go on the two main uh, entrances actually this one and this one and just gather up over here I know there's a small hill advantage here but I'm willing to take that in detriment of having or being shot at from all of this because I've played on this settlement and I know that the the best place actually to position is over there on those ridges he wants to position like this I want to position like this that's the much better position so everyone is gonna go over here and over there maybe I can actually go like this well my valet is certainly going to be here with the triari on their backs now I need these units of principes here these gentlemen they can deal with everything here uh, cavalry I'm gonna split them up actually two units on this side and two units on this side that's gonna be it so group one validates come on get over here where's everyone I don't know I'm gonna have to check it out Group 3, go over here. Group 4, get over there. Group 6, get over there. And Group 5, get over here. I still can't check anything out. The good thing is that he doesn't have any hoplites lying around. So Spearman, Spearman, some noble cavalry there. That's nice. Javelin men? What else? What else can I see? Yeah, as you can check out, he actually is positioning over here with some spearmen. He's actually defending all the city center from all sides, I believe. So he's divided. That actually helps me out a little bit. Yeah, that actually helps me a little bit. So I'm gonna go on this front as fast as I can. Come on, Valetis. You do have the skirmish mode, so I'm not worried. Triari, come on. Come on, I start in Principes. You gentlemen, you're gonna move over there. There doesn't seem to be any weaknesses on their troops. Yeah, those are spearmen, spearmen. I don't know where the, the hell their javelin men are, but I believe in the town center would be the, the choice. My missile troops, can't they hit? Can't they actually hit? Really, they're barely over there. This, It looks like, like I calculated it first. <laughs> Let's take away the skirmish mode. What's over there? Spearman, 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 Spearman. Okay, so the thing that I'm going to do is these are starting units. You'll actually position here. I'm not under attack for now. These spearmen will never engage me. Yeah, that's the deal. So one unit of spearmen is dead. Let's quick reload them. Yeah, completely de destroyed, actually. Gotta pay attention, guys, because they he does have a lot of units. Doesn't seem like he's going to be much of a threat on this side. My triari can actually move a little bit closer to protect them. If he's sending one unit of spearmen at, at every time, he's gonna die. As you can see, shaken. Now he's moving in the spearmen. Cavalry? Where's the cavalry? There it is. Noble cavalry. So javelinmen there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's gonna have too much of a, uh, an advantage here. I'm gonna destroy three units of spearmen safely. Maybe four units, actually. Well, it is. Just move a little bit forward. Triari, move here. 
melee infantry close up. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be too much of a trouble here. Yep. Time to move in. Here's the whip. That's it. Charge in. Charge in. These gentlemen are going to stay there, as well as these cavalry. My triari, they were just hanging on. I'll probably need them for the final assault. Study, you're doing pretty well. Yeah, and he's always going to get a few more shots from these guys. Let's check it out. Doesn't seem like these guys will need anything else. They can actually hit the Noble Cavalry, which I won't. They're fine. Now these guys are going to charge in. Shoot a few javelins, come on. That's nice. Very nice. A little bit less powered than they used to be, but still powerful. So now what I actually want to check out is what's going on over here. Are these only archers? No, there's a few spearmen. So, gotta take that away. Let's charge in. Rapid advance. You guys are gonna move over here. Go over there. This cavalry, just go over here, actually. Melee infantry, move over there. Charge in. Group 3, charge everyone in. That's it. Where are the Triari actually? Oh, damn it. The Triari should go on this side. That's the deal here. Actually, cavalry and my general can move over there. Well, it is. Move here. Gentlemen, charge in. Charge in. Well, actually, the Triari are going over there, so I guess they can actually charge the middle. Shattered. Spearmen. Tribesmen broken. That's good. Actually, here we go. Here we go, actually. This is noble infantry, so I can't charge those up. But I can charge those tribesmen. Certainly the spearmen from the back, actually. So that's the idea here. Principes, charge these noble infantry. Well, it is... Well, the infantry here. These guys are shattered. Destroying them. Principes, charge them up. Charge them on the back. Yeah. This infantry is just way too powerful. Way too powerful. Equities. They managed to shatter those guys. Nice. I know they're over here. They're wavering. Attacked on the rear. Let's charge them on the rear. That's it. I charge them on the rear as well, so they will rout. That will cover that. Come on, gentlemen. Everything here just goes over on that side. Nice! Cavalry just gets back. Let's position the cavalry here. on, Principis, charge! I might lose this unit of a study if I don't retreat it, so I'm just gonna retreat it. My Triari are positioned. It seems like everything is over here. So that's not a good position. I'll hold the middle. 
That's for sure, but I didn't want to win with the middle, I mean. Quick reload, attack the new median spearman. I managed to get him out of there before it happened. Let's try to hit these guys. That's good. Let me check the action over there. Lots of men attacking. Some of these spearmen are wavering. There's not a lot of noble infantry. There's like one here. And the rest is just mop up stuff. So I'm gonna have my cavalry go all around this area. That's the deal here. You're gonna stop and just hit those guys. Charge them up, come on. Cavalry, I know he's attacking, but I need that. I'm actually keeping the center. I don't want to keep the center. Can they crush through? I'll be able to attack them from the back. That's good. His noble infantry is wavering down. He's getting a lot of casualties because I'm so clumped up. But now everyone can attack. Good. Charge the tribal slingers. That's it. Everyone is shattered now. At any point. Continue. And pursue them. Good. Quite a decisive victory there. End the battle. So the Masai's lead. They, they have to be nearly depleted with this. So that's good. I survived with that Hastati unit. You can see that the the initial thought of having those two uh, two uh, Hastati units to protect that flank really paid off because they held on a lot of their army, mostly all of his uh, non-garrison army. Good, everyone is defeated. Very good, very good indeed. Let's occupy Sidamus. I can't do anything to it. I can't attack these lords of war, sadly, because they would be ambushed. But uh, if he retreats, I can actually go and attack Garama. Pretty sure of it, actually. Pretty sure I would be able to. I can't position in the forced march, sadly. But oh well. Uh, this episode has gone on for quite a while, so I'm going to end it up with the conquest of, of course, Sidamos. So, until we see each other's, let's have a good one. Goodbye.